Today we're gonna to continue with project 1.8, build a body, and we're gonna focus on how to set up our variables. We're gonna be using the following table and detail the XY coordinates for both the original location of the organ body system sprites on the screen and the location of where these sprites belong on the human body outline. We'll use this chart to help us plan the animation that needs to occur in our app. Remember that if you change the original location of any of these sprites in your app, you must update the XY coordinates in the chart. We're gonna to need to open our source file for this project and insert the coordinates into the chart. Once you have all the coordinates, we will then go ahead and place them in the correct location in our block view. Once you have your source file opened up, what we need to do is locate the coordinates of not only the organ systems, but as well as their placement on the human body outline. So we're going to use our chart to go ahead and plot each coordinate on the X and Y axis so that we have that information once we get to our block view. Please keep in mind that if you move any of these organ systems or placements, your coordinates will change and your chart will need to be updated. So we'll start off with our brain organ system. So if we go into our user interface and click on the brain, in our property window, we'll be able to identify the X and Y axis. The x-axis in this case is set to 219 and the y-axis is set to 286. We'll need to go ahead and plot those coordinates on our chart. Once we have the organ system, the next is to find the brain placement and this is where the brain would be located on that human body outline. Once we find that brain placement and you can either click on the dot on the human body outline or you can click on the name in the components. Here you will see that the coordinates for our brain placement on the x-axis is 129 and y is 13. Now that we have our brain and brain placement completed, we'll now need to go ahead and take a look at our respiratory system. For my respiratory system organ system, we'll go ahead and click on our lungs with heart. And here you can see that we have an x value of 9 and a y value of 256. Next, we'll need to go ahead and find that respiratory system placement. Click on your dot and you will now see that you have an X value of 128 and a Y value of 85. Now that we have our respiratory system completed, let's go ahead and take a look at the urinary system. So for my urinary system organ system here, we have an X value of 214 and a Y value of nine. As for the urinary system placement, we have an X value of 110 and a Y value of 213. The last organ system we have is our digestive system. If we click on the digestive system, we will see that we have an X value of negative two and a Y value of 14. For my digestive system placement, we have an X value of 129 and a Y value of 159. Now that we have our coordinates placed on our chart, we're ready to move on to our block view. Once you get into your block view, what you'll notice is that you have several different variables that we're going to be using. These variables consist of the organ systems as well as their placements. Now, a good rule of thumb here is to take the time and to organize these variables in a way that you will understand where they are located. As you can see here, I've organized my variables. That's all the organ systems are located on the left hand side of my screen and directly across from them is the corresponding placements. This makes it easy for us to go ahead and plug in those variables that we charted earlier. Once you have your variables organized, the next thing you need to do is to take the chart and place the correct values into the correct variable. Here you will see that I've taken my values from my chart and moved them over into the variables in my block view for my project 1.8. You'll wanna double check that the values are correct we may need to adjust these values based on placements on our user interface later on throughout this project. Once you have all of your variables placed, it's time to move on to the next part of our project.